Hello friends, welcome to the video series on interview question for SQLPL SQL developers. From video number 29, we are seeing about the exception related interview question. As a continuation of that, in this video, we will see about what are the types of exception. Broadly, we can classify the exception into two categories. One is called predefined exception. Otherwise, you can say as a system defined exception or you can say it is inbuilt or oracle defined exception. The next category of exceptions are user defined exceptions. Oracle defined exception, otherwise the predefined exceptions are further classified into two categories. One is called a named exception and the other one is called unnamed exceptions. We'll be able to understand better if we see an example in each of these categories. But before proceeding with the example, I just want to tell you few more information about the exception itself. Every exception in Oracle including the user defined exception contains an exception code and a description about the exception. Additionally, Oracle has given a name for few of the exceptions that occur very frequently. The exception that contains the name are called the named exceptions and the exceptions that doesn't contain the name and that contains only the uh, code and the description are called unnamed exceptions. See, it is very important to know the name of the exception because whenever we want to handle the exceptions, we'll be handling by specifying the name of the exception in the exception handling section. For that, it is very much important to know the name of the exception. For unnamed exceptions, since that doesn't have any name, we'll not be able to handle directly with the name. So we'll be by default, we'll be able to handle in the others section. Now let us see one simple example. From there we'll understand about the named exception, unnamed exception and user defined exception. So in this block if you see there are only two statements. One is an insert statement which is trying to insert an employee into an employee, employee number into an employee table and there is second statement is an expression. So chances are there that the exception may raise from either insert or the next expression statement. Suppose if the employee number is a primary key column and if that value what we are trying to insert already exists in that table, then this particular insert statement might throw an exception saying that the entry already exists because this will violate the primary key constraint. So chances are there that this insert statement might throw an error called duplicate value on index. Suppose if the employee number what we are trying to insert is not there, then this insert statement will get executed successfully then the exception may get raised from the next expression because we are trying to divide 1 by 0. This will throw an exception called 0 divide. If you see in both this exception, these two exceptions have the a name portion, it has the number and it has the description. Since it has the name, these two exceptions are called named exceptions. Now we'll see how to handle the named exception in the exception handling block. So here is the same program. So now if you want to handle this, handle the exception for this particular block, we need to handle whatever the possible exceptions. So in the exception handling sections, we'll be handling saying when uh, the duplicate value of index. So whenever this insert statement fail, the control will automatically go to the exception block. And if the exception is handled, then the program will get terminated gracefully. In case if the insert statement executed successfully, and in case if the next expression fail, then this will throw a zero divide error then this will be caught in the next class the where we have handled the zero divide exception. For any other exception that is raised from the program, the control will automatically go to the others block because we have not handled any other exceptions here. So this will just go to the others block. Then the program will get terminated gracefully. Obviously, we will not be able to handle all the possible exceptions in the program. So what we can do, whatever the uh, anticipated exceptions we can handle in the exception handling block for rest of the things we can use the others as the default category so whatever is and whatever the unhandled exceptions will automatically go to the others in case if you have yeah, if you have used the others class then it will get automatically handled and the program will get gracefully terminated so this program i just want to show you the usage of the named exception okay now let us see another another example but before we see the example so here is a small list of named exception i would always suggest you check the oracle documentation for the full list of named exception just to go through few of the exceptions um, 
there is a like no data found whenever a select statement is not returning any data into the scalar variable this will throw a no data found exception like a duplicate value on index what we just now saw in case if you are trying to insert a duplicate value on a primary key column or a unique indexed column then we will get an error called duplicate value on index so here is another like cursor already open if you are trying to open a cursor which is already open then we will get then we will be getting this exception subscript beyond count and subscript outside of limit so these two exceptions will typically get in the collection so there are a lot of exception obviously we will not be able to cover all the list of exception but i just want to highlight one point the name what we are seeing here are the are all the named exception only if we know the name of the exception we will be able to handle the exception handling block now let us see another program to understand about the unnamed exception so here is a simple program almost exactly the same program so in this case i am trying to insert a, a quite a huge value on the employee number column suppose if the employee number column is defined to hold a maximum of four uh, digits then this particular insert statement might fail and it will throw an exception called value larger than the specified precision allowed okay you can see here this is because the employee number is column is defined to hold a maximum of four whereas we, we are trying to insert a very huge value this particular exception doesn't have a name since this doesn't have a name we will not be able to handle in the exception block using a name because this exception doesn't have a name so what we normally will do will normally use the exception when others so whenever uh, you are trying to handle an unnamed exception by default we'll be using the others a class of the exception to handle it there is another way to handle the unnamed exception that is by giving a name for this exception so to give a name for the unnamed exception typically we'll be using the pragma exception in it once a name is assigned we can use the name what we assign to handle it uh, we'll see in detail about this pragma exception in it in the next video next we'll see about one more example for uh, user defined exception so here is the uh, quite a uh, similar program which contains only the uh, division portion so what happens here is that whenever the denominator is zero obviously this will throw an error called divisor is equal to zero so what happens here is that in this case oracle is executing the statement then raising the exception so if you want to use the uh, named exception uh, to handle this exception in the exception handling section we can say exception when zero divide then you do whatever the error logging or whatever the things you want to handle there otherwise what we can do instead of oracle executing the statement and raising the exception as a developer we can check before the division itself whether this particular uh, denominator is zero or not in case if it is zero then as a developer we ourselves can raise the exception to raise this exception we can de declare a variable of exception type and that particular variable we can use as part of a raise keyword then this exception will get raised and we can handle the same exception in the execution exception handling section as if it is a named exception so this is one way to handle the user defined exception there is another way to raise the user defined exception using the raise underscore application error we'll see in detail about raise application error in detail in an upcoming video but i just want to tell you there are two ways by which we can raise the user defined exception there is one more difference between the user defined exception compared to the predefined is predefined exceptions are more specific to oracle technology that is more of technical um, exception that is getting raised whereas the user defined exceptions are more of functional exception as per the functionality of the application we can raise the uh, exception so that is how you should actually use it because uh, for just to give you one uh, real time scenario example uh, suppose whenever you want to validate an account if the account has a negative balance you want to raise an exception so across the application you want to raise with the same uh, ora code and a description for that you can use the user defined exception because uh, oracle will not uh, know whether that uh, that is an account or is it is a valid account or something as a functionality of uh, uh, application we will be handling and raising the whether account is valid or invalid or is it a negative balance or is it is expired whether the credit card is expired so for all these things a functional exception can be raised using the user defined exception portion 
If you have learned something new, please like this video, subscribe and stay tuned for new feature videos, interview questions, SQL practical questions and concept video series. If you have any questions or if you want any questions to be answered as part of this series, you can drop in the comment section or you can drop to this mail ID. Thanks a lot for watching this video.